welcome to land of chemistry simple steps to organic chemistry in this video we are going to learn glycine condensation reaction that is formation of beta keto ester come on let's learn the reaction glycine condensation reaction ch3 c double bond o o c2 h5 this is ethyl acetate here the main condition for the reaction is the ester should have alpha hydrogen at least one alpha hydrogen this is functional group to the functional group this carbon is attached that is ch3 this carbon is known as alpha carbon here three hydrogens are present so these three hydrogens are alpha hydrogens so this undergoes self condensation and gives a product come on plus one more ethyl acetate for our convenient i am writing this ethyl acetate in this manner that is i am splitting this ch3 into h CH2, C, double bond O, O, C2, H5. That is, two ethyl acetate will take part in this reaction. The reaction is an equilibrium reaction. It is carried out in the presence of strong base. Okay, that is sodium ethoxide, C2, H5, O, N, A. What happens during the reaction? The bond between the carbonyl carbon and the oxygen will get break. And this hydrogen will get attached to this part. So, ethyl alcohol is removed. C2H5OH. That is, ethyl alcohol is removed. This aceto part will get attached to this ethyl acetate part. So, we get CH3, C double bond O, CH2, C double bond O, O. C2 H5. What is this? This is ethyl. This part is aceto. So ethyl aceto. This is acetate. So the name for this compound is ethyl aceto acetate. Come on, let's write the name for these structures. These two are ethyl acetate. Ethyl acetate. This is sodium ethoxide. And this is ethyl aceto acetate this is ethyl alcohol or else ethanol come on let's summarize the reaction that is ester containing at least one alpha hydrogen atom undergo self condensation in the presence of a strong base such as sodium ethoxide to form a beta keto ester this is known as beta keto ester that is ethyl aceto acetate Thank you.